Hey guys, my name is Chris. Today we have the Simple Human Queen Station. It's basically a phone cleaner that uses UVC light to kill 99.9% .9 of the bacteria on a phone surface in 30 seconds. In order to test this, I bought a bacteria test kit to see one, if it works, and two, how well it works. I'm gonna run a couple different tests in different scenarios, like coming back from the gym or touching doorknobs and then my phone. But first, let's get started with a quick unboxing. All right, I have it all set up, plugged in. Now the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna go out, be active, and test the foam pre-cleaning. Once I've swabbed my phone, I'm gonna run it through the clean station, swab it again, and then let the results sit and grow. For my first test, I'm gonna head to the gym, use my phone, and try and gather as much bacteria as I can. Be right back. All right, just got back from the gym. This is my dirty phone. The way this is gonna work, I'm gonna swab the front of the phone, and that's gonna be the top half of the Petri dish. Then I'm gonna swab the, uh, the back of my phone, and that's gonna be the bottom half. So, let's do this. Get a little bit of water. Get, it, get all of that front. And that should be good. Then we'll take a clean cotton swab. There we go. Dip it in water, turn the phone around, get the back. All right. Petri dish number one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss the phone into the Simple Human and I'll be right back. All right, I put some gloves on to prevent cross-contamination. This phone should be clean. It ran its 30 second cycle. What's nice about the Sumble Human is that it does take an iPhone with a case. So that's nice. Now that these two are done, I'm going to go out to a couple more scenarios. You're just going to see a bunch of B-roll of me running around and then I'll show you the results after a few days. See you around. All right, it's been about five days. I ran three different test scenarios, at the gym, grocery store, and then one where I'm running around touching random doorknobs in the apartment complex. In all three test scenarios, the bacteria we gathered before running through the clean station showed more growth than in the bacteria after. Let's do a close up. Here we have the gym before and the gym after. Now with the gym before you have this large bacteria growth here and here, with the gym after you have a bunch of small growth. I want to say the gym before looks much worse in terms of bacteria. With grocery before and grocery after, grocery store before also looks much worse. It seems like a lot of the bacteria was sticking to the back of the phone here. With the door test scenario, door before shows a lot of bacteria growth all around, door after only has a couple dots. This has a couple dozen, so the clean station worked really well here. Regardless of what the test results were, I've been using the clean station every time I come home. I have a station right next to my sink, so I'll drop my phone in, wash my hands, and then I'll pick it up and be on my way. I used to grab a Lysol wipe each time, but now I don't have to, and I save a little bit. If I were to put it in perspective though, each Lysol wipe is about five cents. At 200 bucks for the clean station, I would have to use this device 4,000 times before I broke even on cost. That's gonna take me at least a few years. Overall though, I like how simple it is. Simple Human really does live up to its name. Based off the test results, it does seem to remove most bacteria. I wish I tried testing it by running it through two or three times before swabbing, but I'm pretty content with the sanitization and it works great on my sink countertop. The only thing I wish it could be different is if it were chargeable. I don't like the extra cord hanging around and it would have been nice to move this to the kitchen without having to unplug it each time. For $200, it's a bit pricey, but 
I can be a bit of a germaphobe at times and this gives me peace of mind. That's all for today, folks. Let me know what you think about the Simple Human Clean Station. Would you spend 200 bucks on it? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you for the next video.